So the last 30 days, I've generated over 3 million views on Instagram, 2 million on TikTok, and just under 500,000 on YouTube. And I've been creating content for a little over two years now, and I've gained over 800,000 followers with hundreds of my videos getting hundreds of thousands and even millions of views. So it's safe to say I know how to make viral videos. So in this video, I'm really showing you exactly how to do it. Now you probably noticed some of the key factors in making a viral video is making them short and snappy, using good music, having captions, sound effects, and even including B-roll inside of your videos. And it's actually way easier than you think because we're gonna be using AI to edit our videos. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first thing we wanna do is start cutting up our footage. So for this, you can use any video editing software you want. I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro. And the first thing we wanna do is create the correct sequence settings. So here you can see I've got a preset. What you wanna do is set it to 1080 horizontal and 1920 vertical. This creates a nine by 16 aspect ratio and depending on where you're from, if you're in the EU, you want to be shooting at 25 FPS. If you're in America, then you'll be shooting at 30 FPS. Go ahead and press OK. You can give your sequence a name. So how to create viral videos. Just like that, now we've created our sequence and what we want to do is go ahead and drag in our footage. So here you can see we've got about a six minute long video and what we're going to do is actually start using AI to quickly edit our video. So I'm going to be using a tool called Firecut which you can go ahead and download and basically what this allows me to do is click on remove silences and then I can go ahead and press go. It's now going to analyze all of my footage and then once it's finished detecting all of the silences it's going to create this adjustment layer and as you can see in real time it's now cutting up our footage. And then you'll see once this is done, it's gonna turn the six minute long video into about three or four minutes. And then we can go ahead and fine tune this video. Okay, so you can see it's cut out 216 seconds of silence. So like I said, it's turned it into about a three minute long video. And here you can see it's removed all of the silences. So what we actually wanna go ahead and do is pop on our headphones. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and check out our script and then cut up the video and remove all of the repetitions. So then it comes down to about 30 or 40 seconds of actual footage that we're going to be using inside of our video. So the process for this is pretty simple but also tedious. You just have to go ahead and delete everything that you don't want and then once you've gone ahead and cut up the video you'll have something that looks like this. Okay so now you can see that I've actually gone ahead and cut everything up. We have a video which is about 40 seconds. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure whenever you're editing a video you want to leave out as much fat or as much blank space out as possible. So if we actually go ahead and zoom in you can see that there's no real audio gaps. There's a bit of an audio gap here so we can go ahead and cut that out so it jumps straight into the audio. So go through all of your footage and just make sure that there's no blank space so here there's a bit of blank space there there's a bit of blank space and you might think that this is a bit silly to do but in actual fact you want to be making your videos as short as possible because people who are watching instagram reels and tiktok have a very short attention span so if you're cutting out these 1.2 seconds or 2 0.2 seconds every single time then you're actually going to be trimming your video down quite a lot throughout the entire process because here we can see that we've got about 20 different cuts so if you're doing that 20 times you know that's going to shave off a second or two so super important thing next up what we want to do when we're editing our video is make sure we have super clear audio. So if you are also editing a video inside of Premiere Pro, what you can do is go ahead and highlight everything and then you can open up the essential sounds panel. So if you don't have it, go to Windows and then essential sounds. And we're gonna go ahead and click on dialogue. I like to use the podcast audio because this gives it a very dynamic audio, it makes it sound very clear and very punchy, almost like you're listening to a podcast. So here you can see it's actually raised the levels quite a lot. So if we go back, you can see they're all the way down here. And if we bring it back, you can see it's brought it up very high. Next up, we want to go ahead and make our video look saucy or punchy. So we go ahead and color grade our video. Now, the easiest way to do this, instead of doing this individually in the Lumetri color panel, what we want to do is go ahead and create a new adjustment layer, press OK, and then pop this on here, and then drag it out to the entire length of your video. And then from here, you can go ahead and color grade your video. So if we bring up the exposure, you'll see that this brings up the exposure to every single clip, which is underneath it. Now, because I edit a bunch of videos every single day, I've actually gone ahead and created my own presets. So if I go into presets and then we go to OG Studio, you can see that that's already started to grade our clip. I actually use two different LUTs. So I'm going to re remove the LUT here and then I'm going to use the new OT. And then here you can see it's just added a bit more of a punch. So there, that's the before. 
this is the after and then what you want to do every single time you're editing your videos is just give it a bit of a minor tweak main things to adjust are the contrast highlights and shadows and then a little bit of the exposure just to make sure that your videos look the same across the board now once you've done this you're pretty much good to go in the sense where your video is already pretty much ready but what you want to do is elevate this so adding captions adding sound effects adding b-roll which you'll notice i do in a lot of my videos and we can actually use ai to do this so instead of doing this inside of premiere pro what we can go ahead and do is export our video just like this so how to create viral videos we're going to go ahead and put this into our new folder right here and then what we want to do is put our export settings to match source high bitrate then make sure it's h.264 go ahead and press export and then we're going to bring this into an ai tool which is going to give us automatic captions we have a new feature with auto b-roll as well as sound effects so I'm going to show you this as soon as this video is exported, we're going to drag that into there and then I'm going to show you how to finish off your video. Now, if you've subscribed to this channel or watched a video from Submagic before, then you might already know what this is all about. But keep watching because they've added some brand new features, including the auto B-roll. So let me go and show you how you can elevate your video from what you've just edited, adding your B-rolls, adding your captions, your sound effects, transitions, and all of that good stuff. So head over to submagic.co, go ahead and click on create my video now. If you're signed in, it's going to bring you straight into this upload page if you haven't signed in or created an account click on the link in the description down below so you can go ahead and do so and then from here you want to go ahead and drag and drop your footage depending on what language you want your captions in select the language go ahead and press upload and then you'll see in just a few seconds it's going to start adding dynamic captions into your video okay so as you can see if we go ahead and press play you'll see we now have dynamic captions added to our video so the first thing you'll notice is you have your caption section here so here you can fully customize your caption so if you want to change the word so for example uh, change that to camera you'll see that that edits that in real time um, but of course we want to keep it to how it is so go ahead and do a quick run past this and make sure that your captions are spelled correctly and then from here you can go ahead and customize it so if you click on style you'll see you've got different themes like Alex Famosi, Devin Jato, you've got Ali Abdal, Iman Gaggi, Mr Beast and then you've got some sub magic fonts here um, as well as this one and then you can also see you've got some custom fonts so if you want to keep using these popular themes you can go ahead and select whichever one you want go ahead and change the positioning and the colors but if you want to customize them and make them your own you can click on any of the themes click on custom and then you can go ahead and change your different font you can upload your own font you can choose the size make it uppercase or lowercase add a shadow remove the shadow whatever you want and even change the display word speed so i personally prefer one word because it makes it a lot more dynamic now you'll notice that if it's short words like to the it will stitch them together so it makes it a little bit more cohesive when you're actually reading it uh, in real time so it does a really great job and then here you can see you've got animations on or off so currently they're on you can see it animates that in if we turn it off you can see it just pops them word by word and then down here you've got auto emoji so you can have that on off um, or auto i personally prefer to have it off and then once you're happy with your style you can go ahead and select your position click on create theme and then you'll be able to apply this every time you enter a video inside of sub magic now to level up your videos even further from what you've done you'll notice that they already look a lot better because we've now added these dynamic captions we can actually now add b-roll so there's two ways you can do this one way is using the magic b-roll so this will automatically analyze your video so i'll show you this in just a second but i'm going to show you the manual way to adding your b-roll which might take a little bit longer but it's going to give you more accurate results so for example here we're talking about cameras exposure triangle and camera settings the multiple ways you can do this in adding your b-roll is for example we can click on the word and then we can click on search b-roll and what this is going to do is go through a library of stock video which you have royalty free access to and then you can click on whichever video you want click on apply and then here you have the option to add different transitions so no transition animation film burn vintage zoom out once you're happy click on apply and then if we give us a quick play you'll see and boom here we've got our camera so you can actually extend the length of the b-roll so you just click on the timer button right here and then say so i wanted to make this until eight seconds click on save and now if we go here you'll then notice that the b-roll is a lot longer 
um, which is actually better. So sometimes it is better to do it manually, but then I'll show you the automatic B-roll in just a second. Here you also have the option to add different sound effects. So if you're adding a transition, it will add the relevant sound effects to that. But if you want to change it, you click on page turn, you can increase the volume right here, or you can even remove the audio if you don't want it. So you can go through all of this, add all of your relevant B-roll, but on top of this, if you just wanted to add a bit of a transition or a zoom, you can click on original. And then here you can see you've got no animation, you've got dynamic zoom. So you give it a quick play, you can see that it dynamically zooms that. Or then you have progressive zoom, so you can see how that does that. So again, if we wanted to extend this to 22 seconds, for example, you can also do that. So then the zoom is also extended. So super nice little feature there. And again, if you just wanted to add sound effects to your video, you can go ahead and do so right here. Click on that. And now you can see that the sound button is now enabled with that little orange icon. So you know that there's a sound effect on there. Now, in order to use the Magic B-Rolls, just click on this. It's as simple as that. I mean, it's going to go through your entire video and it's going to add relevant transitions and B-Roll to your video. So you can now see that it's already finished loading the Magic B-Rolls. So if we quickly scroll down here, you can see that it's added relevant B-Roll to our video. Here it's added different zooms, which we've noticed. Now I did quickly see that it's added some yoga stuff. Now it's talking, I'm talking about exposure and all of this sort of stuff. So it might get a little bit confused you know, like yoga positions isn't super relevant. So the cool thing is here, we can actually replace the B-roll. So if we see the text and our goal is to expose enough light into the sensor to get the best image. So what we can do is just put camera, for example, then click load, and then we can select whichever B-roll we want. So for example, um, I quite like the look of this one. Click apply, and then you can see it's automatically swapped that out. We can remove this B-roll, give it a quick look, and then boom, you can see how seamless that already is. So all you have to do now is just go through your entire video, match all the relevant B-roll you want to add. So for example, a blurry background. So what we can do here is, you know, if we click on that search, it automatically populates with blurry. So if we put blurry background instead, press enter, and then we can see we've got a blurry background here, press apply, and now you'll see that it's relevant to the video that we're actually talking about. So just go ahead and fill this out to your heart's content and then your video is pretty much good to go. Again, a little reminder, if you click on the description, the AI is automatically gonna create a description relevant to your video, adding you hashtags, emojis, and all of that. So really great. And then once you're happy, you can click on save. You can then click on export video. And then from here, you have a video ready to post. So there we go. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, a quick and easy way to creating viral short form videos. First step is to quickly cut up your video to get it to the desired length that you want. Fix your audio, then fix your color grade, and then drag it into Submagic to get your dynamic captions and add your auto B-roll as well as sound effects and transitions. And then you're pretty much good to go. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.